All right, welcome back to another episode, everybody. Man, this is beautiful. I'm in Washington State, and we're way south, almost to the Oregon border. Actually, you could probably see Oregon from here. <laughs> These are the Blue Mountains, and it is gorgeous. Also, as you can see, we've got some snow. I've been itching to get my snow fix, so here we are. It's not a whole lot, but I'm sure happy to see it. Tonight we're gonna to be staying in the rooftop tent. I've got the insulated inner tent for it now. So we're gonna give that a little bit of a test. Um, we're supposed to get pretty cold. Supposed to get pretty cold. Though this is a beautiful spot, it's not very level. I don't know if you can tell. As much as I enjoy a view, I also really appreciate my night's sleep. <laughs> I already scouted out a little clearing back there. We'll go park there for the night and set up camp. I had to put the, the camera all the way up here to get that shot. Woo. Ah. The things I do. The things I do. All right, so here's the Cruacola Hall. This is the insulated tent that'll go inside the rooftop tent. Now you can use this in any rooftop tent. So it's not just, not just for the Crua Air. You can buy this and put it in any rooftop tent you'd like. Or your car, maybe. You can even put it in your car. <laughs> So we'll take this thing, we'll open it up. We'll see which way I've got to put it. <laughs> All right, let's see. Holds open like that. Holds open like. Okay. Looks like that's this is the front door here. Good. We'll climb up here and we'll stuff her back. Uh, we'll just set it up like that. So now all I gotta do is uh, inflate it. So that's one thing you gotta have. You gotta have a uh, pump for this. I prefer a hand pump just because it gives you the good pressure that you need for these. But yeah, look at that insulation on there. I think we're gonna be nice tonight, nice and cozy. There we go, there we go. Nice little hand pump. Okay, plug her in, get the pump.
All right, so now all we got to do is kind of just help it, help it kind of rise up. Come on, there we go. Look at that. Nice and big in there. It's got a bunch of these little air, uh, air tubes, supports. So it just stands on itself. That's really nice, actually. It looks great. I like it. Okay. I don't know that there's anything you gotta put up here or connect to. Well, it looks like you might be able to. I don't know. I think it's good. Good and solid. We got plenty of vents and such to, to work with here so you can get fresh air. Oh, okay, I gotta push this back a little bit. Back here. Put you up in the corner. Oh man. All right. Check that out. We're gonna be cozy tonight, you guys. I really love these insulated tents. Krua does a really good job with this. It's really nice. I'm excited to see how this night goes. <laughs> well, the sun is going down. Looks like I maybe have an hour, an hour left of sun. It's going down quick. We're in those shorter days, you know. Not too much fun. Especially when you drive uh, drive three hours to get to a location. <laughs> you kind of run out of time. But man, this is looking good. I really do like this tent. I like rooftop tent camping. It's pretty fun. If you've never done it, you gotta try it. There's a lot of these uh, rooftop tents that are very affordable um, nowadays. There's a ton of them. Throw yourself an insulated uh, inner tent. You're good to go. Good to go. I'm probably going to try a diesel heater in this uh, next time, but for now, we're just going to run it with the insulated inner and see how it does. Our current temperature is... Where are we sitting at? Sitting at 35 degrees Fahrenheit right now. I touched it, so now it's 36, but... It's, uh, it's getting chilly, and it's supposed to chill down into the 20s tonight. All right, we've got the bed all made now. We're good to go. Check that out. 
Man, that's nice. Nice and cozy looking. Okay, we're gonna climb in here and we'll see how cozy it sounds. Oh, boy. Oh, Try not to get my boots on everything. Oh, the uh, sun's starting to go down. So we're contending with that right now. But uh, that's okay. This light's a little bright. Oh, is there a way to turn it on? Oh, maybe there's not a setting on it. Oh, it's nice and cozy in here. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is going to be cozy, you guys. You know I like my insulated tents. I'll tell you that right now. Okay, so for temperature-wise, looks like we've got 27 degrees Fahrenheit outside and 37 degrees Fahrenheit inside. If you guys can see that, try to angle it correctly. There we go. So that is negative three Celsius outside and three Celsius inside. You can see that. Current time is 3.52 p.m. Um, and that sun is just now going down. So, man, I better get out there to see if I can capture that uh, sunset. Oh, man. It's beautiful out there. Wow. It's, uh, it is stunning. I love, I love it when you have some nice, clean, white snow. It's so beautiful. I don't know if we'll be able to hike over there and see it. I'm kind of missing my opportunity here. Oh no. <laughs> Gotta hurry up. Wow. It's stunning out here. This is beautiful. Wow. Now that is a view of the Blue Mountains, you guys. Incredible. It is incredible. This is beautiful. Man, you guys, look at that. Watch your step. You want to fall? <laughs> wow. I love seeing views like this. Just gets me excited. The world is a beautiful place, you guys. You just got to get out and see it. Woo, man. My ears get a little cold. <laughs> Once that sun goes down, I'm telling you, it's going to be a chilly night. A very chilly night. All right, I better hike back. I don't want to get caught out here when the sun gets down. I didn't bring a flashlight. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at this. This looks like a uh, improved little campsite right here. Nice. Got like a fire pit. Perfect. Oh, with a nice view. That's what I'm talking about right there. I love finding these locations. You just gotta try to remember them.
Oh man, you guys, look at that steak. Oh, 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 oh. oh yeah. So this side of the of this plate is like kind of like a griddle, I guess, or a grill, like grill grates. I want to try to flip it over because I want to use it kind of like a griddle to finish my cooking. So hopefully, hopefully I can do this. <laughs> oh wow, the moon is amazing right now. It's coming up between those trees. Wow, it's a big old moon too. That is beautiful. Oh, so amazing. Let me see if I can take a picture. All right, I took the steak off of there. We'll flip it over and we'll use it as a griddle now. We'll get our veggies on there. Throw down some oil. I might just keep the steak over here too. Looks like I'm getting a little sit from from actually uh, transferring that over. Oh no! Hopefully it doesn't taste bad. <laughs> Some Japanese barbecue sauce. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Add a little bit of rice. Oh yeah, that's uh, that soot on the bottom there. Definitely should have cleaned that off. Didn't think about it, oh well. All right, let's go ahead and plate it up. I don't know the best way of doing this, so I'm just gonna scoop it on. I must confess to failure. That thing, though, would have been really, really good when I flipped it over and I got all the carbon all over it. It tastes good the first couple bites, but then you really start to notice it. And I don't really think I want to ingest that. <laughs> so, needless to say, all that work and effort for nothing. That's okay. We've got a backup. We have steak chili. And we all know that steak chili is really good for warming up the tent. So it's a win-win. Good old steak chili. It'll be okay. We'll, we'll survive the night. I can miss a meal or two, you know. Not a big deal. It's good chili. Oh, yeah. Let's have a beef stick. So that'll be good. Maybe I can stir this with my beef stick. <laughs> It'll give it some extra flavor. There we go. A little beef stick in the uh, in the chili. Which is funny because this is a chili. This is a spicy chili beef stick. Spicy sweet chili. That tastes good. Yeah, that tastes good. So this is actually frozen. <laughs> mm. Oh yeah, she's good and warm. We'll just stir that with the beef stick and probably just uh, leave that in there so it'll thaw out. <laughs>
Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you so much for this day. I just thank you for just the time coming out here, Lord, just seeing the snow and just enjoying it, Lord. I just thank you for that. Uh, it was such a pleasure to see, and I'm, I'm just so thankful for it every time I do see it. You know how much I love it. Father, I just pray that you will be with your people right now. I pray you'll keep them safe. We so look for your return, Lord, and I just pray that we will do what it is you'd have us to do every day to further your kingdom. I thank you for this food, and I pray you'll bless it to my body. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right. I got to eat this quick because it's going to freeze. Um, it's like the wind chill. The thing is, it's the wind chill. It's like 24 degrees, but I don't know what the wind chill is. It's like bitter cold. It's like bitter, bitter cold. <laughs> mm, that's pretty good inside there. It's kind of thawing out as I stick it in there. <laughs> I really wish the meal would have worked out, but I just didn't think about it. All the carbon deposit from the propane fire, I just don't think that's a good idea to eat it. At least I'm going to err on the side of caution. The moon's quite the spectacle tonight. It is beautiful. I brought my uh, my DSLR camera. I don't use it anymore because it only shoots uh, 1080p video. And I haven't been using it for photos, but I would like to use it for photos. I just don't know if I know the settings right now. That's the one problem I have filming with my iPhone. I just can't get out there and uh, zoom in on stuff. So it makes it a little challenging with the iPhone, but we'll see. Maybe we'll do some upgrades later. Oh, that chili's warming up the belly. Hopefully later tonight it'll warm up the bed too. I know, gross, don't talk about it. But we all do it. Some just don't admit it. My nose is freezing. I had to get my gloves. It's it's cold. That wind chill, it's enough to just freeze you to the bones. Problem with this little fire, it's really cool. Really enjoy propane fires, I really do. Quick, easy. Um, but when the wind is kicking up and I have no, no form of shelter here, none of the heat really comes to me. So I'm kind of freezing sitting around a fire. It's not a good thing. I think what I'm trying to say is I'm going to retreat to the tent. We'll see, see how warm it is in there and if we can heat it up. Um, <laughs> and maybe I'll just eat my dessert in there. As long as there's no bears out here. I don't want no bears. We'll be okay. We'll be okay. Just don't do what I do, okay? Don't eat in your tent. <laughs> Even though the snow's out, I don't think the bears are bedded down yet. They're still roaming around. I think I put up with enough snot running out my nose, so I think it's time to get into that tent. All right, let's climb on in here. <sighs> Looks like a nice cozy bed. I gotta get up in here and get my shoes off. Ugh. 
Oh man, ah, it is uh, it is cold, you guys. Let's see what the temperature is in here first. So it's 32 degrees inside, which I have a feeling it's colder than that because this thing I think only goes down to 32 um, on the inside. It's 24 degrees Fahrenheit outside, which is negative five Celsius. Oh, it's cold. Whew, 7-Eleven, that's all it is. It's only seven o'clock. It feels like it's like super late. That's all right. Well, let's close this up and uh, we'll see, see how warm we can get it with just our body heat. Well, I got my dessert here. Look at this little thing. It's a little tiny. Dinky little personal pan pie. <laughs> look at that. Oh, wow. I mean, looks just like a, a real one. Just dinky, little tiny one. It's a blueberry one. <laughs> look at that. Oh, man. It's almost uh, too neat to eat. <laughs> Someone worked really hard on that, right? from uh, Safeway. Somebody in the deli worked real hard. Let's see how it tastes. Ah, that's good. That's really good. Nice little uh, personal pan pie. It's blueberries, so it's perfect for the bears. <laughs> They're gonna smell this from a mile away, five miles away. They're gonna be knocking at my door. I see why they like blueberries. They are tasty. Well, it's currently 8.13, so it's been about an hour since we checked the temperature last. It's 23 degrees outside, and it's 48 degrees Fahrenheit inside. It's doing really well. Celsius, friends, that's negative five outside, and nine degrees Celsius inside. I've been just sitting here, hanging out, charging my equipment. Um, everything has been dying really fast. I forget the challenges of the cold weather, you know. I did set up the trail cam. Don't think we'll see anything tonight. All right, so there it is. Go ahead and hit record. That's what it looks like. We'll see if anything sneaks across there. I highly doubt it, but you never know. All right. Boy, my face is all flushed. I think it's like wind burned or frost bitten <laughs> at least that's kind of how it feels it was uh it was pretty chilly out there today um i gotta get re-acclimated to the cold weather you know we're getting there i'm finding all my uh cold weather gear i had it stored away and now i gotta figure out where it's all at well i'm really loving the insulated tent already um it it's got that like sound dampening i can hear the wind out there but it's not as loud as if i was outside um, plus in the morning you have that like blackout like atmosphere so the sun can't wake you up even though the sun comes up way later now <laughs> uh, plus it keeps you warmer which is a major plus to me especially on a cold winter's night gotta stay warm always you guys have the proper sleeping equipment um, don't rely on like a heat source or anything like that I think I've told you guys that before, but if you're new to the channel or you're just new to winter camping, it all comes down to your sleeping bag and your clothes. Um, that will keep you alive. So I've got a couple of bags here. I've got a zero degree bag, another like blanket bag, and then I've got the minky. Got the minky minky. Nice old warm minky. So I'm ready to go, you guys. All right, well, I'm going to hit the sack, get some good rest tonight, and uh, we'll see what it looks like tomorrow morning. It's pretty clear skies, so we won't have any snow or anything like that, but I'm excited just to see, see more of the scenery around here because it sure is beautiful. All right, that's it for me. I'll see all of you in the morning. Good night. Oh, I missed. Ah.
Oh, it's time to get up. It's 7.49. It's so dark and cozy in here. I can't even tell that the sun's coming up. Oh, man. I don't want to get out of bed, though. It's warm. It's really warm in here. Current temperature is... Looks like it says it's 40... Well, it's 30 degrees outside. It's 30 degrees outside. Which is 49 degrees. And it's 49 degrees inside. So I know that's backwards. Here, let me flip the camera. Okay. Okay, there we go. So it's 749. It's 30 degrees outside. It's 49 degrees inside. Which is Celsius, it's negative one outside and 10 degrees Celsius inside. <sighs> Not bad. It's cozy in here. It's real cozy. Oh, but I better climb out and see what it looks like out there. Unfortunately, I probably missed the sunrise, I would assume. So, I don't know. I think the time lapse caught it though, hopefully. I don't know yet, so <laughs> hopefully the time lapse caught the sunrise. All right. All right, I better get up and get out of this cocoon. All right, let's open this up and see how it looks like. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's bright. That's bright. <sighs> they definitely missed the sunrise. It looks beautiful out there. Oh, man. Talk about beautiful. That sun feels so good. <sighs> what a difference. What a difference it makes. <sighs> we got down to, I think it was uh, 19 degrees Fahrenheit last night. That was the low, which was, uh, I think, negative 7 Celsius. So, we got pretty chilly. I stayed fairly warm, though. I was good and cozy in there. There's no doubt about that. It was nice. So cozy I didn't want to get up this morning. <laughs> but it's morning and you know what that means. We need some coffee. I had a nice package sent to me and it came with some coffee, so I'm excited about that. There's a little bit of a postcard in here. Hume Lake. And this is from Lorraine and James Campbell. This is our favorite place to camp. Very cool, thank you guys. Hume Lake, I'm gonna have to look it up. So they sent me a couple of things. We've got, ooh, Sequoia. Oh, that's pretty. Oh yeah, that's really nice. Look at that, steak and potatoes. 
I need to go there. I've never been. Very cool. Very cool. We also got, that's beautiful. Wow. So nice. They sent me a water bottle, Hume Lake. It's a Nalgene bottle, this is nice. Got a coffee cup, which I'm gonna use today. Hume Lake, look at that, that's nice. And we've got some coffee, quality coffee. Hume Roasting Company, I like that. Ooh, Kenya, uh, I'm not sure how to say that. Oh yes. Oh, that smells so good. <laughs> Thank you so much, James and Lorraine. That's, that is amazing. I really appreciate it. I love trying new things and seeing new places, so I'm gonna have to check out Hume. Looks beautiful. We're gonna be using our brew mate today. This thing is really, really handy. Super easy. Just gotta grind up your coffee, put it in there. You guys have seen this before. And it fits right on top, that's perfect. All right, let's see here. Oh yeah, look at that. That is some nice looking coffee. Now when it comes to grinding up your coffee for this, I kind of like to have a, not too coarse, not too fine. And that's what I find works really well. Let's see, kind of like Kind of like that. Well, I don't know, that might be too powdery. We don't want it to go through the little strainer, you know? That's probably perfect right there. Ah, oh, yes. Coffee in the morning. Oh. Oh. Ooh, that's good. That's really good. I like that. It feels so good in the belly. There's nothing like a warm cup of coffee in the morning with the sun shining, beautiful snow. Beautiful location, trees. Oh, so thankful, so thankful. Mm. Mm, that's good. I like that.
Sounds good. I cannot believe how quiet it is out here. Like when you listen, all you hear is nothing. It's so quiet I could almost hear my heartbeat. It's kind of weird. <laughs> it really puts silence in perspective. Because, you know, as much as we think we love silence, there's a little bit of loneliness involved in it. You need fellowship. You need to be with people. But there's those times where all you want is silence. You get out here in the middle of nowhere, and you're sure to get it, that's for sure. Oh, it's beautiful. I love it. Ain't nothing better, you guys. Well, I suppose I better go go pick up the uh, time lapse. This was a beautiful spot over here. Um, you've got a view of just all of the mountains, and you're you're so high up. It just looks like rolling mountains. So beautiful. All right, camera's still here. Didn't get blown over. Oh, looks like she's dead. Hopefully, uh... Hopefully I got some good uh, footage. So when it comes to being really cold outside, I always put a hand warmer, or this is a toe warmer, with my battery pack so that I can do a long time lapse overnight. And uh, usually works really well. Also, I weighted it down here with some rocks, so if the wind did pick up, it wouldn't blow over. A couple of little tips for you guys if you're looking at getting some day to night time lapses. Yeah, she's dead. Oh. Yeah, she's got nothing on her. She's dead. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> oh no. Not sure what that is. <sighs> wow. It is gorgeous out here.
Where did he go? Oh, 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 there he is. Yeah. Wiley! Oh, Wiley! What? You have a family! Oh. <laughs> Wiley! What? <laughs> oh, Wiley, you old dog, you. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, look at that little guy. Oh, that's so cute, Wiley. Oh, good job, you two. Oh, I'm so proud of you, Wiley. That's a good boy. Oh. <laughs> oh, Oh, ain't you a cute little thing, you. <laughs> All right. Everybody, thanks so much for watching. As always, God bless, and I'll see you on the next episode. Bye! Oh yeah, Fruit Loops for everybody! <laughs> oh, here you go guys! Oh yeah, Fruit Loops!